Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the concept of balance scorecard in the subject of management sciences. This balance scorecard is going to be a very simple topic and the video is also going to be very short. So this is one of the contemporary management approach, contemporary in the sense the modern approaches we are using. Still now we have discussed so many contemporary management approaches in that uh, balance scorecard is also one of them. And if you're having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know the date of your exam in the comment section so that I can make videos more faster and also if you are having any video recommendations or any topic recommendations for me just let me know that in the comment section okay so let's get into the video now so first balance scorecard is nothing but it is a business performance scorecard so we have scorecards report cards mark sheets and all right so which shows our performance in which subject how many marks we got what's our grade uh, what's our, what what are the remark remarks so even the business performance scorecard the balance scorecard also will show everything Thing about the business performance in which department what is the performance and so in which again what are the remarks uh, and when compared to last time whether there is an improvement or not if there is a if there is no improvement then remarks will be written that you need to improve so like that a balance scorecard you have to relate it to your progress card report card mark sheet something okay it is a balanced approach for measuring business performance so uh, in order to measure the business performance how the business is going on it is a balanced approach to measure that done and it will measure both financial and non-financial aspects also not only financial it will also measure non-financial aspects like customer satisfaction uh, like employee uh, learning employees growth so like that it will um, take care of both financial and non-financial measures okay so in this balance scorecard actually we have four perspectives okay so let us see what are those per four perspectives we have so in the middle you'll have this vision and strategy okay and financial customer learning or growth internal process so these are the four as uh, aspects or four perspectives you have okay done so now we will learn about each and everything first comes the financial so in financial all revenue related expenses you know what revenue is right so revenue that mean what uh, the money you're getting and the expenses the money you're spending the net net income that means after getting income and after spending expend expenditures so what is the amount that is left out so all money related financial related aspects will be in this location financial location okay the next comes the customer so customer um, is more you know concerned about the customer satisfaction and customer retention how to satisfy customer and how to retain the customers by giving them more and more offers by uh, giving them some free discounts and also in that like that you can retain your customers right so this deals all about customer satisfaction and customer retention okay the next is learning and growth this learning or growth or learning and growth is more related to the employees in the organization so developing employee skills by giving them some training opportunities and retention of employees by giving them some hikes by giving them some bonus and some added added benefits and all and customers uh, employee satisfaction also by giving them good physical working conditions and all okay so these all are related to learning and growth uh, so all of them are related to employee employee skills employee training employee retention employee satisfaction and so on okay so and the fourth perspective you have is the internal processes the internal processes which are happening inside your company okay so what are the internal processes happening in inside your con company inventory control you know what inventory control is right making sure that the stock will never go out of stock so that is inventory control and quality control so whatever the products you're manufacturing uh, ensuring quality in them and product lead time so all these will come under the internal processes okay so we have four perspectives financial customer learning or growth internal financial is all more related to money customers are all related to customer customer satisfaction customer loyalty customer retention and all and learning or growth is more related to employees employee skill employee training employee satisfaction employee retention and so on and internal processes are related to the things which are happening inside the company like inventory control quality management price management and all okay so this is all about the balance scorecard okay in balance scorecard we have four uh, perspectives and we have discussed about them in this video so that's all for this video and with this we have completed all the contemporary management uh, approaches so 
if you want me to make any other videos or any other topics apart from this just let me know that in the comment section so that i'll definitely make it for you and thanks for watching the video let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic still then stay tuned to my channel and if you are having any doubts just let me know that in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure